so? Jack, you know, we're going through something kind of personal moment. Who are these old people? That's Will and Grace, you met them yesterday. No, the older ones who look like they just had sex. Oh, good for you. No, not good for them. Why? It's about time somebody besides me had sex in this apartment. I've had sex in this apartment. No one wants to hear that. <laughs> Let's talk about something more pleasant. I have decided to move into the city to be closer to Martin. What? No, 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 you love Connecticut. It's, it's where 90% of the 1% live. We want to see where this goes. I, I, and we feel we want to be more involved in your lives because, you know, clearly they've gone off the rails. You know what, Marilyn, they have, they really have. Oh, by the way, this is my boyfriend, Stefan. The pleasure is mine. It's so nice to meet a woman in this apartment who actually looks like a woman. Oh, tell me about it. Well, it was a compliment from my wonderful girlfriend. Girlfriend, this is crazy. Love is crazy. Love? You think you're in love after spending one night in bed together? We fell in love after one afternoon of standing up together, but it's not a contest. But did we win? Yes, dear. <laughs> you see, honey? You're using them as an example? That just proves how crazy this is. You're rushing into things like teenagers. Okay, I get it. It's scary to be alone. I mean, I lost my relationship with Leo. He lost his relationship with Vince. You didn't lose him, they ran away. <laughs> the point is that if we've learned anything from moving back in together, it's that the fear of never finding the one can lead to Bad decisions. Yes, yeah, exactly. Look, I, I know you think we're a little incestuous with the living together and the working together, but it works for us. And whether or not we ever find true love, whatever the hell that is, I know I will always have my best friend. And, and, and if that's all I ever have, I'd still be a happy man. Me too. But I'll be a happy woman. I am a woman. <laughs> Does that make sense? It does. Marilyn, I don't want to end up like Will and Grace. What? Well, I want to ask permission to marry your mother. <laughs> you are not getting it. Eh, I don't need it. Marilyn, life is short, love is precious. So what are we waiting for? Sweetheart, will you marry me? She absolutely won't. Yes, I will. This is a nightmare. No, no you wake up from nightmares. I don't want to be like Will and Grace either. I just met them and I don't want to be like them. <laughs> Martin's right. Love is precious and life is short. Yuck, what are you saying? Hey, Stefan, I love you. I knew it the moment I met you. Uh, yesterday. <laughs> Oh, will you make me the happiest man in the world and propose to me? Oh, no, no, no. Of course, mi amor. Yuck. Will you marry me? What? Really? Oh, my God. See, see, a thousand times see. <laughs> oh, God, it's a contagion. Congratulations to the two of you. Oh, and congratulations to the two of you. Should we do a double wedding? No. <laughs> this calls for a celebration. Where's your champagne? Um, Will and I will go get some. Where? France. <laughs> do you realize what's going on in there right now? All the people who know us the best are making life choices based on the fact that they do not want to be like us. Well, not all of them. Oh. Uh. You two, the day I've had. I had to make a decision between my lover and my husband, and I chose my husband because I didn't want to end up like the two of you. See? Grace, there is nothing wrong with us. We are good, we're not enmeshed, and we're not too close, and our relationship is, is, is certainly not incestuous. You know what I just realized? When your parents get married, the two of you will be brother and sister. <laughs> we gotta make some changes.